and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means. It's time for the toy news, action figure news of the week that interested me and hopefully interests you in another big, big week of toy news across many different lines this week. And we're going to cover it all here. But of course, as usual, we got housekeeping to do. And of course, we're going to start off with Patreon. Patreon, the month of March and the March giveaway is going to be, guess what? The book I wrote on Jack's Classic Superstars, of course, available on Amazon right now, Barnes & Noble, to come in a week or so, of course. Stay tuned to my social medias for all the details on what it goes up on uh, Barnes & Noble in the hardcover and softcover over there. I gotta say, though, as I'm filming this right now, Friday afternoon, currently unavailable on Amazon. Apparently, the demand was so great, they have taken it down as they have to catch up with orders. Uh, I was kind of reading through the stuff there. We'll find out, but it will be back up on Amazon. Don't wait. And I got to say, I am beyond humbled uh, for the participation of a lot of you guys and the gals out there picking up a copy of this book on the day one sales. Uh, really blew away my expectations for sure. As I've said before, this is a passion project, a labor of love right here, as there's no way I'm ever going to make my money back from what I spent on this and my time, especially putting this together. But I felt this is a book that needed to be documented. I don't know anybody else that had any plans to do a book like this or honestly could do a book like this. And it's just a little bit of the Jack's Class Superstars legacy. I wanted to leave behind one day when things are all said and done and the dust settles. Uh, just really a passion project here. And I got to give a special thank you to, of course, Jeremy Padauer out there writing the forward. Good brother, good friend of the channel, Jeff George, also putting the forward in here as well. And then, of course, my wife and family, my wife Angie, for all her support with the book all the fun time around that but definitely a passion project for me uh fun one happy to see everybody be able to get a copy of this and people are probably going to start getting this on saturday as we're filming this here depending where you live uh in the next couple of days but it will be back up it could be back by the time you guys are watching this video hopefully it's back up we'll see what happens there uh but i'll keep everybody up to speed sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram and of course YouTube channels, Patreon, you know where to find me. But very humbling about this book. But I did order some copies. I will be selling copies of this book for just a little bit more because I got to pay to ship them out and stuff. We'll have a bookmark with these. I'll autograph. I can put whatever you want inside the book if that's what you want as well. Just reach out to me on social media. I'll do the same thing with hardcover. Hardcover is going to be expensive. I will do a video on this very YouTube channel explaining the thought process behind the book, some of the expenses of the book. It's ugly in the book game. We've talked about it for years. People, ourselves included, do not always understand the cost of things. It is very expensive to publish a book like this. So, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, that's for sure, but it is pricey and there's no way I'm making millions of dollars and maybe not even making hundreds of dollars on this book. But, like I said, it goes back to being a passion project at the end of the day. Uh, a little bit of a legacy, and to be just tied in with the Jazz Classic Superstars is a big deal for me. So, once again, appreciate the support. If it isn't back up by the time you're watching this video, just stay tuned. It will be back up for sale. We'll get you a copy eventually, one way or the other. So, wanted to call this out. Of course, like I said, March giveaway on the Patreon. Check out the link in the description below. Join the Patreon. One of these will be given away this month of March. So, there it is. A little housekeeping right there. Of course, 20% off Pro Wrestling Tees this week. Uh, this weekend, I guess, more like it. So, if you want to get a Pro Wrestling Tees, if you need to pick up one of my shirts or, of course, a Terry Funk shirt, head over. Got to save 20%. Got to get a deal out there all day long. So, there's a little bit of housekeeping there. Let's dive into the news, how about? We got a lot to talk about. And as Jerry Reed always says, We've got it all to And it's your time. And 
Jerry, never wrong. Never wrong is Jerry. And we're going to start with some wrestling, a lot of wrestling news this week. On the back half of this video, we're going to talk all the G.I. Joe news. Just as exciting, some of the G.I. Joe stuff this week as well. So stay tuned for that. And a little bit in between, it'll be like a sandwich. That's what it'll be. But we're going to start off with AEW. AEW Jazz wears an interesting line full of ups and full of downs. A very complex, complicated line. They did say, hey, we got an announcement for March 1st. Myself and many others said, well, this has got to be the official announcement for The Vault. They said it's coming in March. March 1st makes sense. A lot of eyes on the product with Sting's final match this weekend. A lot going on. Figured, yeah, it'll be The Vault. Unfortunately, it was not The Vault, at least as of filming right now. The AEW Pay-Per-View Series. A new line of figures celebrating the most exciting pay-per-view moments in AEW history. And to celebrate revolution, we are unleashing the American Dragon, Ryan Danielson, only available at Target. Pre-order now. It is the Daniel Bryan, or I guess Bryan Danielson, where am I going? Taking a step back there. Bryan Danielson, Target exclusive, part of the new pay-per-view series. That was the announcement today. Now, last week in the Toy News, we showed pictures of that one. Now we got the pretty promotional ones, all that kind of fun stuff. Sounds like it's going to be at Target. Up for pre-order right now if you're after it, so head over to Target, pick that one up. But that is what uh, came out here on March 1st, and I think a lot of people were a little underwhelmed by that one. And speaking of underwhelmed, uh, people are a little disappointed this week. It is Sting Week, Sting's final journey, final time through the uh, ropes, I guess, as of right now. Is anybody ever really officially retired? But it sounds like and feels like Sting really will be but they did announce two new sting figures this week from AEW. once again this collect forever shop now we ordered the cm punk was it a last week what is time once again and paypal would not work so you had to put a credit card in well this week it was the sting credit card didn't work you had to put paypal in instead so it's like can you guys get things figured out over there at collect forever but it is a sting basically a different box very, very lazy. Not sure exactly what's up with this one here. I did pick it up. I'm a stinger. I'm still a little stinger at the end of the day. I picked this one up, but I think a lot of people passed on this one. One of 1,000, though, once again on this Sting figure. But now we got another Sting figure. Of course, AEW Shop, one of 3,000 Sting going for sale on Sunday. So if you're after that, pick that Sunday up on Sunday. Sting's final match, of course, Sunday night, the AEW pay-per-view. I am going to have to get this as well. I'm a little stinger. Like I said, I got to get all these Sting figures. And a lot of people saying, we're not getting enough different Stings here. But man, if you really think about it, Sting doesn't change his look a whole lot in this day and age. Yes, we want Surfer Sting. We're supposed to get old school Ultimate Warrior Blade Runner Sting uh, in the future. We'll see if that still ends up coming out. Hopefully more news on that very soon. But it is kind of on brand with some of these AEW shop exclusives for the Sting. And I think it's one of 3,000. Should sell pretty well. A lot of Sting hoopla going on right now, as we do know. So a couple of Sting opportunities this week. And then his final match on Sunday night. We also saw this week a little glamour shot or a little sneak peek, I guess we'll call it, of all you go, Ethan Page. It looks like he'll be getting a Jazzwares Unrivaled figure very, very soon. And speaking of Unrivaled, sounds like Unrivaled 14 shipping from ringside right now discount code Kyle saves 10% should have those I think next week we'll see what happens there but some unrivaled figures coming to the table sooner rather than later so that's what we got from AEW an interesting week for them like I said ups and downs we need to get that vault out there we need to get a little bit more consistency on things I know a lot of people are really down on the line right now which is unfortunate as I always do say we are lucky to have a guy like Jeremy Padauer at the head over there kind of steering the ship because Honestly, me putting my business hat on, I don't know if Chazwares would be making figures for AEW if it wasn't for Jeremy leading the charge and his fandom there. So you can complain all day, but without a Jeremy, we might not have any figures at all. So uh, it is what it is, I guess, at this point. We'll stay tuned to it like we always do, and we're going to hope for the best for Jazzwares in the future, 2024 and beyond. Now we're going to turn our attention to Ultimate Editions and I guess Mattel in general as they had some leaked lineups this week. We don't talk a ton of leaked lineups, but hey, what are we doing? Let's do it today. We'll talk about some of these. Looks like Ultimate 21 already up for pre-order on ringside right now. Cody Rhodes returned to the line and then Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, first time in the Ultimates line coming in Series 21. And it sounds like the rumor for 22, Ultimate Series 2, is Jey Uso, another one. Gunther, and then John Cena. So an interesting mix there in Series 22. Of course, three figures going forward in the Ultimates line, as we do know. 
We also got a peek under the tent of the future top picks line. Looks like Solo, The Rock, and Cody Rhodes will be the next elite top picks. Uh, if it's on brand, one of the three will have a different look. The other two will be re-releases. We'll have to see what happens with that one. Have to imagine maybe WrestleMania weekend. We'll see some of these things here that we're talking about today. Also, basic top picks. It looks like Dominic uh, Mysterio, of course. Seth Rollins, LA Knight. Same kind of thing going on. Top picks out there. Getting some heavy hitters out there for everybody at all times. That's the purpose of the top picks. Uh, we did hear about Elite Series 111. Cody Rhodes returning to the line. We talked about this a little bit last week. Tony D'Angelo, Trish Stratus, Finn Balor, Ricochet, but then the one everybody's got on the tip of their tongue, it is the Sandman, ECW icon Sandman times two, as he's going to be the chase. We'd love to see the traditional Sandman, of course, the world beater Sandman, and then maybe the USA pants Sandman would be another option for a chase. We'll see how that ends up netting out, but I'm excited about a Sandman figure. Uh, playing into my ECW roots is what that one is doing right there. And then the Survivor Series, that leaked line is a very interesting one. Is it looks like the Bushwhackers returning to the Elite line. Been a heck of a long time since we had Bushwhacker Elites. Looks like that day is coming again. And we're also getting Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And then the Build-A-Figure... Adam Pierce, so a very timely build a figure right there. I'm here for an Adam Pierce build a figure. That should be a fun set as well. And like I said, Ringside put up a lot of pre orders this week for some Mattel products, uh, things we've talked about in the past. So if you want some new pre orders, head on over to Ringside Collectibles, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. But we're not done with wrestling figures. We got to turn our attention to some retro wrestling figures this week. As we did see leaked images, we already knew these were coming, but we did see some leaked images of the Big Boss Man and Kurt Angle from the upcoming WWE Superstars line. Probably the most frustrating wrestling figure line to collect, in all honesty, here in 2024 and 2023 we also know tatanka will be a part of that set as well so we'll stay tuned to that maybe in the collector's con event coming up for a walmart here in middle of march that could be a pre-order time we'll wait and see what happens with that one we also saw Rush Collectibles, kind of the uh, troublemaker, I guess, for a lot of people. The one that people are the most down on in the retro line. We did see Fantasio, uh, the old magician. I think he was, wasn't he spell something at one time too, but most notably known for his time in Memphis wrestling. Apparently he is going to get a Rush Collectible retro figure. We'll see how that one goes for Rush Collectibles. We know they got James Storm and Wildcat Chris Harris on the docket next, but we're back in the wrestling with Rush Collectibles. We'll see how that works out. And then Power Town, they've had a lot of announcements, and now they're kind of circling back again as they did show images of Nick Bockwinkle and Bobo Brazil again this week. However, it showed them with entrance jackets on, so it looks like we're getting a little bit more to these Remco-style figures uh, when they do come out later in 2024. Have to imagine pre-orders around the corner, and maybe they're going to go week by week once again showing stuff they've already shown but now we're showing the jackets and coats and accessories with these figures we'll see how that ends up going there and then big old shout out here a little surprise one but man i'm here for it with the big rubber guys it looks like there's gonna be a WrestleCon macho man exclusive one of 500 green tights macho man very very cool there gonna have to get my hands on that one fingers crossed i can get a copy of that because macho man you gotta have a complete set of the major bendy's big rubber guys and i can't be missing out on this green macho so if you're headed to WrestleCon, great opportunity to pick this one up uh should be a fun one right there uh, we also saw Major Bendy's ECW line coming very, very soon. We got Shane Douglas, Francine, easy for me to say, Dusty Rhodes, Mikey Whipwreck, and Jerry Lynn. They're going to come in regular and bloody editions. You guys know me. I love ECW, so I might even be a buyer on these. I'm not a big Bendy's guy. never really have been a Bendy's guy, but I'm an ECW guy, and I really like the ideas of this, especially Dusty Rhodes, which leads you to believe a big rubber guy's Dusty Rhodes on the horizon. Take all my money for that one. I'm here for that. Get us a polka dot one. Get us an old school NWA one. I'll take all the Dusty Rhodes figures I can get. Very, very cool. Very fun for that one, of course. I should mention as we clean up and finish up the wrestling news this week, tragedy strikes the wrestling fandom. Of course, we did hear Virgil died this week. Of course, Virgil most known for his time with Ted DiBiase. Always sad. Recently got some figures on him. 
did have some requests already. I did get a top five Virgil figure. Patreon members, you'll have that this weekend there. So we will do that next week. In honor of old Virgil. And then the one that hit me harder than Virgil. I liked Virgil, but man, I loved Ole Anderson as a kid. I, I saw the tail end of Ole Anderson's career. That last run with the four horsemen where he kicked Sting out of the horsemen. We'll never forget that. But going back, watching Ole matches, and then reading Ole Anderson's wrestling book. Uh, one of the greatest wrestling books of all time. I put that one right up there at the top with Gary Hart's book. If you want to read both of those, strongly recommend both of those. Ole Anderson, man, a tough dude, a tough uncle, uh, not liked by many people, rough, tough, and gruff, but to just get the mind of Ole through his book really made me have a deeper understanding and deeper appreciation for him. I know he's not for everybody. I know he was a, a tough dude, but man, I enjoyed Ole Anderson from what I saw and definitely what I read about him over the years. So shout out to those two guys passing away, and even Richard Lewis from Curb You Enthusiasm and many other things, a uh, great comedian passing away. So they always say it comes in threes, and I guess that was the dangerous three. I'm sure more than just them passed away this week. I'm, I'm sure that was the case. Who knows? The weekend's not over. I could still pass away. There's still time. There's still time. You never do know. But shout out to Ole. Shout out to Virgil. Shout out to Richard Lewis as well. Now a little bit of a meet in between the G.I. Joe wrestling figure sandwich. A couple of other miscellaneous notes. Walmart's Collector's Con right around the corner. 314, 315, of course, March 14th, 15th, they will have a Collector Con event. Sounds like a preview on the 7th of March. We'll see what that means. Have to imagine Hasbro, Mattel, all kinds of pre-orders. We'll see where that goes. Always a roll of the dice with Walmart, as we do know. But that is coming uh, very, very soon. So we'll stay tuned to that in the future here. We did see some TMNT action this week as well from NECA. Looks like the evil Rex. Of course, Rex won the robot. A simple repaint here. Hitting Target stores right now. So if you're after that evil Rex, head into Target. We saw that, I think, for the first time at San Diego Comic-Con 2023. We'll see how that ends up shaking out. And then Donatello's Lab, we knew it was coming. Sounds like the pre-order going up on March 5th. So get your money ready. I'm sure I can hear it already. People complaining about the price point. It is what it is. I mean, you vote with your wallet at the end of the day. You just don't want to be the person that missed out and have to buy it on the aftermarket afterwards as the last one. Fairly expensive, as we do know. But I'm going to definitely pick this one up. And fingers crossed, that's where they stop. There is rumors they're going to make a third room. I just don't have room for a third room in my current setup. So I'll have to cross that bridge when it comes. That's a problem for future Kyle, as they do say. Um, a final little piece before, I guess two final pieces before we do dive into the G.I. Joe. Jada Toys showed off some pictures. M. Bison coming to the line. Jada Toys, a sleeper line if there ever was one. Made me single-handedly get out of the storm. Street Fighter figures, I'm all in on these Jadas. Cheaper price point, not a fandom that's at the top of my list, so I like to be able to pay a cheaper price on these guys. So if you're into that, more coming very, very soon with M. Bison. And then we saw Mattel Creations. Sounds like they're going to have a Masterverse exclusive of Snout Spout sometime in March, so we'll be ready for that one. Of course, Rock On, the latest and greatest. You'll see him tomorrow in weekly purchases. Don't miss that video, that is for sure. So that is it until we get to G.I. Joe, and you know what they'd say. Or more specifically, what Rob Halford always says. A message from Rob Halford of Judas Priest. Step on the red, cross on the green, never take a ride in a stranger's machine, and always make sure you're burning on turbo. And Rob is exactly right, as we're always cruising on turbo power into a leap day Hasbro G.I. Joe stream. Of course, things leaked about a day before. That's kind of the way it seems to go with a lot of these different streams. Things always get out there. Just the way the business goes, unfortunately, here. But we did see some things, and we did see some things up for pre-order that we already knew was coming down. We knew about Nogahide and his animal friends. I'm here for that all day long. Nogahide, a favorite of mine, but these two animals bringing it to the next level. He always had the pig, but the monkey, a welcome, a welcome surprise at the end of the day. We saw Jinx, of course, an all-timer from the G.I. Joe movie. We saw the Night Creeper, an interesting one. We got Doc, who we just recently got in the Super 7 Ultimate line. Check out that review. And then Torch, and on the Hasbro Pulse thing, they even mentioned Motorhead numerous times. I'm here for the Motorhead talk. I'm here for that all day long. So Torch looking really good. Torch looking like Lemmy, but also reminding me of my grandpa. I've talked about that. We'll talk about that more when we do unbox him there. We also saw the latest and greatest from the Tiger Force. Target Pulse exclusive. Sounds like other retailers might get that as well. We'll see what happens with that. But we got some more Tiger Force coming. I'm here for that along the way. 
But the big thing about this was the new packaging design. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about this one, as I really did like the Hasbro. Out of all the plastic-free packaging, I do feel the G.I. Joe one were the best. I still prefer the plastic, but if for what it was, I think it was the best. But now we've had this line changing packaging design multiple times, and this latest and greatest, I'm not sure I like it. Now, I haven't had it in hand. Nobody has yet. But it feels like it's smaller than the prior ones. It's a smaller package. I don't know. It almost feels like the product is cheaper. And that's just first impressions. I'm sure it'll grow on me. I'm sure I'll get used to it. But it does look a little curious. Like a young Curious George. Shout out to Curious George. The curious little monkey. I've always been told he is that. But I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments what your thought is on that new packaging design. Just maybe take a while to get used to. I'm not sure. Still better uh, to be able to see the product, but I really did like the old packaging design. But it looks like we're going to get some of that new packaging design with this wave right here. Uh, we also saw the Techno Viper and the HMS. That's a Pulse exclusive, about $75, of course, a pricey one. But of course, goes together with your whole His Tank setup. So it is a must have, I think, if you did pick up the His Tank. If you passed on the His Tank, I could see you saying you know what i really don't need this in my collection that would make sense to me but that is up for pre-order as well we also saw another vehicle an iconic cobra vehicle in the ferret get zaymont and tomax on that ferret asap that's what i always think of them in storm shadow for whatever reason i always think of them riding the ferret but we do get the ferret with a female driver, which is interesting as well. So we did see that. And then we did see some uh, retro figures on the horizon and retros. Thicker card stock going forward. And then, of course, going to be available everywhere, not just Walmart anymore. But we're going to see the retro eel and the retro snow serpent. I'm a little happy I didn't pick up multiples of those in the original incarnations. Because I feel like these might be easier to find in the long run and maybe even cheaper in the long run. Because those two are fairly expensive. These are a little bit more more dumbed down of course but I was going to army build a couple of those a cheaper option with these that's my plan with those so a lot of people will want that and then the one probably going to be the most popular there is Beachhead a lot of people missed out on the Cobra Island fiasco of COVID missed out on Beachhead they're getting a second run and this one looks like the best Beachhead yet just Beachhead from the cartoon back in the day we're here for that all day long and twice on Sunday yes you heard it here first twice on Sunday so there's a little G.I. Joe action. They did announce dial tone in the future. That makes sense, too. An all-timer. Where's mainframe? Get me mainframe, too, while we're at it. And where's blowtorch? Let's get blowtorch. But I have to think all that stuff is coming in the future. There's even been rumors about San Diego Comic-Con being an exclusive raptor. So we'll see if that happens. You know me. I'm here for a guy with a bird all day long. And then I think Starduster was going to be the PulseCon exclusive. So there's rumors on that. Nothing confirmed yet. No pictures, anything. We'll just wait and see. But a lot of Joe news to come in 2024. Been a little quiet lately in the Joe department. It's going to ramp back up. We know how that ends up going. So now that's all the toy news. I'm looking at my notes. There's a lot to talk about this week. Uh, wrestling and G.I. Joe sandwiched a little bit in the middle. That's kind of the way it netted out this week. And man, I'm here for it. There you go. But now I'm here for the album of the week. All right, time for Album of the Week. And how about Book of the Week? Should we start doing Book of the Week? It'll be my book every single week. And I know people have said, I've seen it in the comments, man, quit talking about your book. Well, who else is going to promote my book for me? I got to do the work here. I got to do the heavy lifting. And like I said, currently, as I'm filming this, unavailable on Amazon. Apparently, it went pretty quick. So it should be back up soon. Of course, stay tuned to social media. We'll have more on that. And of course, this will be the March giveaway for the Patreon. But Album of the Week, we did show it last week in Weekly Purchases. Finally got around to listening to the whole thing this week. It is the brand new Motorhead Live box set. Live throughout the years. What more could you want? A Motorhead Live album box set. I'm here for this. I am very hopeful that the Motorhead management team keeps coming out with these. It would be great to get a box set like this every single year. There's tons of Motorhead shows. They were road warriors, as we do know, like a young Legion of Doom, really, at the end of the day. Uh, but I love things like this. I love a good box set. I love Motorhead. And it feels like it keeps uh, the legacy alive a little bit, especially the later shows. I like the early shows. Of course, the 70s, 80s shows are great. But something about the 2000, let's call it 2010 and above shows, it feels like it's in time here and it almost feels like Motorhead is still going. I know it's strange, but I love Motorhead. I love Lemmy. I love everything about it. So I'm always excited when something like this comes. Definitely worth a listen. Obviously, you can buy the CD over on Amazon unless it's unavailable currently. Who knows? Uh, but you can also, of course, stream it wherever you want to stream your music and stuff. But always got to support Good Brother, or the Good Brothers, we'll call it, of Motorhead, Phil, Mickey, and, of course, Lemmy. 
and the old members as well. We won't get into them, but that is it. That is the album of the week. That is the book of the week. That is the toy news of the week. A very busy week in more ways than one, no doubt about it. Thanks to everybody that's had me on their podcast, The Fig Cave this week, Ramblin' with Russell, uh, Nick Storm Reviews. Um, I will be on Fig Night here very shortly. I'll be on Fightful again. I got a very interesting one uh, coming up this Thursday, which I guess I'm not supposed to technically mention yet, but it is uh, going to be a big one, I guess. We'll see. More to come on that in the future, but I've been on a lot of different podcasts and things like that. Working the circuit, doing the press junkets, as some may say. I don't know. Uh, but if you do have a podcast or something and you need a guest, uh, hey, I'm more than interested if my uh, schedule permits. I'm always up to chat some figures, always up to chat about the book. Just got to find a time that works. That's the way it goes. But let me know, and then let me know, of course, what you were interested in this week in the toy news. Anything, just blow your socks off. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon. And Patreon, truly the best place to support this very YouTube channel. Uh, head over there for the giveaway this month. Of course, bonus monthly Q and A's, early access to both YouTube channel videos. A lot going on over there on the old Patreon every single day. And I do appreciate all the support from everybody. That's for sure. And then of course, Pro Wrestling Tees this week, twenty percent off. If you need to get a T-shirt, now's the time to do it. And then don't forget, of course, about social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and Instagram. Stay tuned to those for book updates, things like that. Of course, Barnes and Noble about a week away or so. I'll let everybody know in the videos and stuff. There's no need to uh, send me a message every single day. When's hardcover coming? When's hardcover coming? People do that kind of stuff, which I guess I appreciate the excitement. But of course, I'm going to be the first to tell everybody when these things come out and just stay tuned. Follow me on social media. It'll all be out there when I know guess what you'll know so there it is so an interesting week a book release toy news an album of the week and a lot of fun so there it is you know what i'm doing i'm rocking and rolling strutting and strolling into another work week